Let's bring you some breaking news now. The father and stepmother of Sara Sharif have said they are willing to cooperate with UK authorities in a video, the first time they've spoken out publicly since her death. The 10-year-old's body was found at her home in Woking in Surrey on the 10th of August. Surrey police want to speak to her father, Irfan Sharif, his partner, Benish Batul, and his brother, Faisal Malik, in relation to a murder investigation. This is what they said in the clip. Batul, along with Urfan Sharif and Faisal Shahzad Malik, are coming forward and presenting ourselves. There, were, there are a couple of things I would like to address. Firstly, I would like to talk about Sara. Sara's death was an incident. Our family in Pakistan are severely affected by all that is going on. They are harassing my extended family. They have also illegally raided many more of my family members' homes. We have already approached our lawyer and our lawyer is representing us in Rawalpindi High Court. The next court hearing is on 19th September 2023. My main concern is that the Pakistani police will torture or kill us. That is why we have gone into hiding. Lastly, we are willing to co cooperate with the UK authorities and fight our case in court. Well, let's go live now to Islamabad, where we can speak to our Pakistan correspondent, Caroline Davis. Caroline, what has been the reaction so far to this video? Well, we have spoken to the Pakistan police about some of those allegations that have been raised by Binish Patul and Arfan Sharif. And they have said quite adamantly that they are baseless. Uh, and they have said that any of these allegations of harassment and also in the course of that video, Binish Patul alleged that some of her family had been subject to torture. Um, they've said that all of those are false. Um, they have also said that um, there were allegations in that video as well. Um, of the police being accused of having taken jewellery, mobile phones. The police have again said those are all false and completely baseless. Uh, now, the police chief has said that if the family has any fears, that they should be going to court to seek protection. I would also add that the BBC were unable to verify the exact conditions, of course, that this video was made in or the location of Binish Batul and Arfan Sharif. You also heard her mention uh, talking about uh, court case appearances as well. Now, because she's mentioned um, a decision of verdict that was come to by the court, Yesterday morning, we believe that this video uh, must have been recorded in the course of the last day or so. Uh, now, the other element, of course, that's crucially important here is that this is the first time we have heard from the couple uh, since they left the UK on the 9th of August. Uh, and this is also the first time that we've heard them publicly say that they want to work with the UK authorities to fight their case. So this is something that we are now working, uh, we are speaking to, to various different authorities to see what the reaction is. Um, but this is, of course, a crucial development in this story that has now been going on uh, for nearly four weeks. Caroline Davis in Islamabad, thank you for that update. Well, you can read more on that story if you head to the BBC News website.